During Georgia's big Peach Bowl win over Cincinnati on Friday, former Georgia legend, three-time All-American David Pollock tweeted out that he thinks the next Jalen Waddell, the great Alabama wide receiver right now, could be on Georgia's roster. Now, those aren't my words. Those are David Pollock's words. Uh, but the crazy thing is he's not talking about George Pickens. He's not talking about Jermaine Burton. He's not talking about Don Blaylock or Kyrus Jackson. He's talking about freshman Arian Smith, the speedy wide receiver. You haven't heard much of him so far because he's only played in three games. He's been dealing with an injury all year. But now you have seen how explosive uh, this guy is and the big play ability that he brings. Uh, he's only made two catches this year, won a 31-yard touchdown against South Carolina. And then you saw him on Friday against Cincinnati. Crazy thing is, uh, we've seen the explosiveness and the ability to make plays downfield, but JT Daniels still underthrowing this guy. That's how fast and explosive he is. He's going to be a major weapon for Georgia in 2021. I've got the tweet from David Pollock right here. He says, wide receiver number one, or excuse me, number 11, Arian Smith for Georgia will be a problem next year for all defenses. Speed with about five exclamation marks. I uh, think Jalen Waddle type game breaking speed. That's exactly what he brings. Now uh, it'll be having to learn and develop uh, to run routes and uh, work on uh, making his hands consistent. Right now, um, he's shown the ability to do that. But right now, he's a game changer on offense. And Georgia needs this. They haven't had a guy who can do it. He can do since Miko Hardman. They didn't have it at all last year in 2019. Yes, George Pickens is fast for his size and he can make plays downfield. We've seen that. Don Blaylock has made big plays downfield. Hopefully he can be healthy uh, and be able to play next year. I think he will be. I don't think he's going to be 100% for the Clemson game. Uh, just a little nugget there, but I do think they will eventually get him back at some point next year. We've seen him make big plays down the field. Jermaine Burton, obviously this year, already some chemistry with JT Daniels. We saw what he did against Mississippi State. Those guys can make plays, and they are fast and can make plays down the field. But this is what Arian Smith specializes in. I mean, he is explosive. If you're a defensive back and you're not in great coverage and you've got lazy hips and you don't turn around and run with him, you're toast. You're burnt. He's going to beat you deep. He's beat everyone pretty much deep so far. I think they've only thrown it to him three times. Of course, he's made two catches. And then there was another throw where he beat the defense, seemed like by a mile, against Cincinnati, and JT Daniels underthrew him. They're going to have to work on that, and they've got you know six, seven months to do it. But this is a guy who can excel in Todd Munkin's offense. We've already seen, especially with JT Daniels, they want to push the ball downfield. You have to stretch the field uh, if you're going to score points against good defenses and make a national championship type of run. Todd Munkin knows how to do it. I thought uh, the play calling and the scheme this year was tremendous. They've had guys open. Uh, they've been wide open. Georgia hasn't been able to connect deep with a lot of these passes that they probably should have. You go back to... Uh, Stetson Bennett, he missed a lot of guys deep. JT Daniels, a little bit off against Cincinnati. Uh, just underthrowing a lot of those guys, uh, but it's because they're really, really fast. Arian Smith is one of the fastest guys on the team. Again, we didn't see a ton of him as a freshman, but there's a reason uh, when JT Daniels took over and he got healthy that they said, you know what, we got to get him out here, see what he can do. And he's been running absolutely just right by defense. If you go watch the film, uh, even on passes that aren't thrown his way, he's open deep. Uh, he is so tough to cover, and he's going to bring Georgia's offense or take it to a next level uh, next year. You have to have that guy in the slot who can do that for you to take some pressure off George Pickens, off a hopefully healthy Dominic Blaylock and Jermaine Burton. He's going to open up uh, the ability for those guys to make even more plays. George Pickens is going to be a junior, one of the best receivers in all of college football next year. Defenses are going to want to put two guys on him uh, but you can't do that when you have to have your eyes on Arian Smith. He's a guy where uh, I mean, the linebacker, DB, whoever's running the defense has to let everyone know, hey, number 11's right here. If we don't watch him, he's going to run right by us. Um, he was the, one of the fastest guys at a high school, uh, easy four-star track star. Um, he's not super long and athletic. He's not the smallest guy. He's six foot, about 175, maybe 180 pounds. So he's got decent size, but he's got elite speed, especially for someone like him. Uh, if he can continue to develop as a receiver, be able to run crisp routes, get open consistently uh, without running just straight by everyone, he's going to be absolutely lethal next year. If you're uh, JT Daniels, you have to love this. Uh, you have all offseason to work with this guy and that deep ball. If they can get that down and connect like Mac Jones is doing with some of those guys, which Kyle Trask did, uh, and you know Trevor Lawrence with Amari Rogers, that type, you have to have chemistry with a guy who can catch the deep ball and give you instant explosiveness on offense. And that's what Arian Smith is going to do. So I never saw him in high school. Uh, I 
trust a lot of people who did see him in high school. Um, but David Pollock knows what he's talking about. Uh, again, three-time All-American. He's been around football as close as you could be uh, the last few years. He covers this stuff. He knows game-changing speed. He's seen it at Alabama with Devonta Smith, uh, Rocks, Judy, Waddle. Arian Smith is that type of guy for Georgia, and eventually um, they're going to have to start putting guys in the NFL like that if they want to keep this up. In uh, the 2019 class, right before that, I said this is probably the best trio of receivers that Georgia has signed when we're talking about just three with George Pickens, Dominic Blaylock, and Micaiah Tung, who is obviously not on the team right now. I thought he was a really good player and still think he could be, but George Pickens and Don Blaylock showed their first year how good they could be. They followed it up 2020 with five receivers, and I said even then, I said as good as 2019 was with only three, the five guys that they brought in in uh, 2020 who were freshmen this past year could be Georgia's best wide receiver recruiting class of all time, and we're seeing it early so many weapons uh, for next year. A third year, George Pickens. Uh, senior, uh, Kyrus Jackson, who's made a lot of plays. A hopefully healthy Don Blaylock, Arian Smith, Jermaine Burton, Marcus Roseme, who was coming on into his own before he got hurt against Florida. Can you imagine JT Daniels throwing to that big, long possession receiver? Uh, we still have Justin Robinson, who was a freshman this year, didn't see playing time. But he's legit 6'5". Long, athletic, you can put him on the sidelines, and he can be a player for you there too. And then uh, Lad McConkey, a little uh, special gadget guy you could put in the slot who can just break a dude's ankles and give you five yards on a, a third and three or fourth and two, something like that. Uh, so there's a lot that these guys can do. And again, Aaron Smith has the potential to be the most game-changing wide receiver uh, from the 2020 class. So far, it's been Jermaine Burton, a guy that I absolutely love and uh I uh, covered him for four years in high school. I know him very well. If you've been on Dog Post, you knew he was going to make an impact on this team. Uh, but David Pollock says that Arian Smith is the guy who could be Georgia's next uh, Jalen Waddle. Uh, he might get a statue outside of Sanford Stadium if he puts up the numbers that Jalen Waddle does. Uh, so again, that's what this video was about, talking about Arian Smith and uh, the potential that Georgia's wide receivers have uh, next year, or excuse me, next fall. They could be explosive. Um, that's what Todd Munkin told us before this season. He used the word explosive about 10 times. It's hard to be explosive and push the ball downfield with a guy like Stetson Bennett. Uh, it's tough to have Arian Smith, but a quarterback who probably couldn't get him to uh, use his full strength. Um, if he's running deep and if he's running outrunning JT Daniels' deep balls, there's no way a guy like Stetson Bennett uh, could be able to work with Arian Smith and bring out the best in him. But if JT Daniels and Smith get together and put in the work this offseason, work on that deep ball, this offense could be very, very tough to stop this fall. Thanks a lot for watching this video. As always, hope you learned something. If not, hope you just enjoyed me rambling on about your Georgia Bulldogs and the potential that this offense has in 21. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to the next video coming up right now, and I will see you over on the website.